So welcome back ladies and gents, welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, today this is another amazing from Excel Dro. You're going to need this if you when you use it. Um, this doesn't work on slobs. We don't do slobs here. So if you get that question, it doesn't work on slobs. This is for Thor OBS Studio and OBS Studio only. Alright? No, that slobs here. Anyway. Anyway, let's go straight into it. Uh, so, as you know, it's a scene collection manager. Um, there has been an update on it already. Um, it's mainly to support portable mode because, um, like me and a few other, um, obviously, YouTubers who do OBS tutorials, they need two, two three, four, maybe pieces of um, OBS in portable mode. Anyway, so to download it, go to the download. There is two ways you can download the zip folder. But this is for Windows, I mean, or the installer. So either one you download. The, I do generally recommend the installer, but if you have got multiple instances, zip one is just as good um, because download it and let me show you where it is. There's my videos. You don't need to see all them. <laughs> um, so with the bring it back across with the installer you uh, sorry with the zip folder you just copy and paste these into your let's go you copy those you go into your c drive program files obs studio and then just paste them into there i'm not going to do it because i'm running both obs's at the moment um if you've got it for a portable mode again you just copy it and paste it into your uh go to your into this folder here, just paste them into there. Where you'll install it again. As always, make sure you have open closed. Um, the next thing you do is obviously open up OBS. I'm the one I've got, and you won't see obviously any any real difference initially. The bit you'll find that is different is in your tools and scene collection manager. Um, click on this. I've done a few. Uh, test ones where we can back it up uh, a couple of settings that are in here so you can add in a new scene collection if you want duplicate ones that are already there um, you can obviously remove them settings you can rename and so then you can switch from different scene collections there as well uh, so you can select one and then cross like that um, what we can do here then is we can add a new backup so we can add a new backup can remove a backup you can config this bit so we can rename and tick this box on i'll just move my camera oh, there we go so automatic backup and you can just automatically back up all the time is anyway um and then yeah so there we go that's that's all your backups but where do you find these backups? where do you if something goes wrong where do you find them because obviously you're not going to be able to do it in here but to answer that question, we go back into your and we go to main one for I'll show it for because I've got this page up here already for portable users. It is in config, OBS Studio, uh, basic themes, and there are your backups. And that's your, the ones that you save. You obviously correspond to got, but in normal ways and ones who haven't got like three four obs's like me uh we go to percent app data percent press enter and we go to again find obs studio and uh, let's just zoom back in again uh, we go to basics so it's the same principle once you've got this and scenes which three backups there have any issue crashes or abs doesn't load wipe it and then you can reload all them scenes back in um uh, so yeah it's just chef's kiss unbelievable one of the most handy not the ones that will necessarily give you all the effects obviously but it saves all your effects so when you've got anything anything and you've got need it back it up you put so much time and effort perfect 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 anyway thank you all again for the video oh one one very quick bit i will 
ask you all to do um, is go to uh, plug in and leave it a rating. Leave it a rating. I have done it. Um, yeah, just leave it a rating. It helps Excel grow out so much. And he, as we all, know. and if you do do want to, obviously, if you can sponsor him on GitHub or PayPal or Patreon, because he does so much for the community on OBS. Anyway. Thank you all once again, um, and we will catch you all in the next one. If you want to see any of our, uh, the playlist of all my OBS uh, stuff, it will be, I'm going to say here. I'm going to put it about here. All right? So go on, uh, check that out, and make sure you do subscribe as well. You've got this far to the video. Thank you all again. Catch you all in the next one. Peace out. Bye.